and stayed out of the street. You know what I mean? I choose life today. You know? And I, and I don't felt she was saying, they say, well, you got to be willing. How far is your willingness go? Honesty, mm-hmm. open mindedness, and willingness. Those three aspects work hand in hand. You really can't do one without the other. But being willing to do whatever it takes to keep what you have is something else he always says. I kind of held on to it. He said, I will fight for my recovery. I will go down fighting for my recovery. See, when people decide that they won't take their will back and go and use it because they made the decision then. Because I feel like God's already brought me out. He said, boy, come on. I got you. Now, if I decide to go back and do it again, that's because I took my own will. I can't blame nobody else. The blame game is over there. I can't blame nobody else. Now, why can't I deal with life on life's turn? Hey, the people do it. The people do it. My thing today is that, you know, I've put the drugs down. I had to put that lifestyle down. Now, I'm left with me and all my cat defects, all my shortcomings. And all my crazy behaviors and thought patterns. That's why I still need people like David in my life. I still need people in the spiritual realm to feed me. I still need my God to feed me and to elevate me. Keep me. See, because my mind is still broken. I'm not perfect. I know me. I do the best I can every day, each day, one day at a time. But I can say, he had definitely freed me from uh, a drug and alcohol. He freed me from that. And and it's something about that that one day waking up and no longer having an obsession and compulsion to put something in your body. I went from walking days on the calendar to not looking at all. My God is an awesome. And I know for myself, there's nothing on this earth that he can't do. We have seen you go out from time and not complain. And, and I felt about that time. You know, um, and it took a while for him to to realize that I'm not doing that anymore. Even though I tell him, son, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here for you right now. I'm just going to work. I'll be back. You know, but he, you know, as he grew, as he was growing, he could see that dad's back. And I got to thank, I got to thank my God for it. All these things that he's given me. You know, if you don't think family's important, more precious than one of them. I still got to put God first. Without him, I would have him. But, Family is important. A man is lost without his family. A man is truly lost without his family. He's giving me a chance to have mine back. I'm just trying not to mess that up. Because everything that shines surely ain't gold. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-huh. A lot of times we have to be careful about what we share in the other fellowship because people pick up on people who are not really doing what you're doing and traveling that same road. Use some of this stuff sometimes to uh, manipulate you. That's why sometimes things that you may be going through or have in your mindset, you need to just kick that with the response. Everybody hears what's going on with you. If you got like 60, 70 people in the room and some of them doing it, and their mindset is not right, then you're going to end up with 60, 70 opinions about what you should do. <laughs> And I, and I realized the rest of the day that i got to be careful about the spirits that I bump up against that I listen to. And I have that positive input. And like I say, y'all, I'm bad all about myself. I don't need no help. I don't need no help. Uh, I, you know, uh, I run another group down in Virginia uh, because I wanted to give something back in my hometown. 
pick out people. And, uh, you know, I, I realize, I realize this thing is it, it, bigger than me. It's bigger than Dave. And, you know, God's, you know, he's behind the scenes. He's a producer, executive. <laughs> you know, he, he's running that. Mm-hmm. And, 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 I, and I just want to be a servant. I just want to be a servant. I ain't trying to get no big head on. You don't owe me nothing. I don't want to be paid for it. I just want, you know, it's a good feeling to see people take off and start living the way God wants them to live. Instead of living in their bucket and where that, that, that the enemy try to keep you in. You know, because like I still got, you know, I still got some of the old buddies. And I don't even push the ball to know they still do You know what I mean? Uh, that, that they grew up with me, that their father and my father knew each other. But see, I can't hang around with the people. I love them. I'm afraid of them. I can't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One thing being right here is you, know, you learn about your boundaries and your limitations, the things that you should not. Now, why would I be in a bar if I, if, if I like drink? Yeah. And, and then convince myself that I'm just going in here for a soap. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not even, you know, Fool myself into doing things like that, and because I, I know when I first uh, when I first came out of we had a door I said, you know, give me like a, a weekend pass. I said, well, I'm going home, you know. And I had been gone for a while, so every time I ran into somebody, man, good to see you, blah blah blah. You know, that's a look, man. Maybe you ain't got no jacket, no money. Take this head. Before I know, I went to the I had end up with 60, 70 bucks in my pocket. I'm like, wow. And you know how the enemy do. So mom, she had let me use the car. So I was with me. And he was like, you're a boy? Just a boy? You go on and do your thing, won't nobody know but you. Yeah. And that little boy says, yeah, you can do that. You're going to throw away everything that God has uh, built in you, yeah. built you up, and you're going to just throw it away in a couple seconds. I don't think so. I had to go out for about having my foot down on the gas. <laughs> <laughs> but I, mean, I just wanted to hurry up and get back home. And, you know, and that night I had a drug drink. They woke me up out of my sleep. And, and, I, and I, I had, like I said, I hadn't been home a long time. I woke up. And I said, oh, Lord, I've done it again. And then I realized, oh, I didn't do it. You know, like, thank you, Jesus. So you deal with a disease that infiltrates your very dreams. Mm. Wake you up out your sleep. Mm. Boy, you better go get me. Mm. Fix me. A disease that's cunning and babbling will talk to you in your own voice. Mm. This is how horrific this disease is. Mm. But still, I said, ain't nothing too tough for God. Right. Ain't nothing right. too tough for God. Mm. You know, because he inspired not only me, but people like Dave, and a whole lot of others. You know, because we go to this big old convention down there in Ocean City, and when you walk in there, and you got all these people there that's doing the same. You talk the spirituality to the max. I mean, oh man, it just hits you, zooms, and uh, uh, all these people that God's freed up. This is just letting me know you just don't have to live that way. You just don't have to live that way. You got a choice. I just thank you know, I thank the world for Dave and the life. Uh, I thank God that, uh, and, uh, and a few others that, that have been instrumental in my recovery process. But see, I know this is an ongoing thing. It ain't over. But all my first sponsor would say, remember that this recovery process is not a street that you come to a song with. It's for the rest of your life. We got to fight, Dave, the rest of our life. But you know what, Mom? We got KG. Amen. Amen. All right. The fight's already won. Amen. 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 Am